What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. As you just saw in that clip right there, we're going to be doing a video on the Cameo 3. We're going to be doing the print and cut method using the registration marks. So if you're interested on how we did this and this and made these door hangers like this, stick around and I'm going to walk you through it. All right, so welcome back. Like I said, in today's video, we're gonna be using the Cameo 3. We're gonna be doing the print and cut method. I'm gonna show you how to do the registration marks so that whenever you print something like this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna go back and it's gonna cut out only what you want, not something like I did right here. Um, I forgot to turn off the cut method on this star, so it cut it out. And you can set it up however you want. If you want it to cut out um, this whole thing, it'll cut out the whole thing. But uh, what we were going for was for door hangers for my daughter. She does Girl Scout cookies. So what we're doing is for the the first week of Girl Scout cookie sales, they're allowed to go to houses and try to sell. So for the houses that there's not going to be anybody at or they're not answering the door, she could simply hang this on the door and if they're interested, they can get in touch with her with her or her information that's on here. This was my first time doing it. I put it on Instagram and everybody was like, can you show me how to do that? I'm interested in doing something like that. So we did do these right here, the door hangers, and then I made her some little cards for the people that were at the house. She can um, give these out. So this one's pretty cool. It's just got cookie time, her troop name, the phone number, and then a email, and then thanking them for getting the cards. Uh, thank you, thanking them for getting the cookies. And then on the back of it, we put the actual cookies in the back and the prices. So if they had any questions or they wanted to order some, they can always just get in touch with us. And then we bought a laminator so that we were able to laminate these. So pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this video and I'm going to show you exactly how I made this. I already have these made, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to blank out the document and then I'm going to go ahead and show you from scratch so that hopefully... Um, you guys can make something like this. If you want this template with these right here and these right here, um, fully editable, uh, get in touch with me. I'll charge you a little fee since they're already done. And then all you got to do is just change the name, change the number, change the email, and everything else on here will be the same. Same thing with these cards right here. The cards are the front and the back. It's not two cards put together. I'm going to show you how I printed it on the front and then I flipped it over the paper over and printed it on the back and then whenever I cut it it cut it just perfect so that this was on the back and this was on the front All right so let's go ahead uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna jump into the computer and then I'm gonna show you how I set it up and then we're gonna go from there let's go ahead jump in alright so here we are right here as you guys can see we have silhouette business edition um, like I've told you guys before Whenever you first get studio, Silhouette Studio, it comes with the basic edition. And then I want to say for an extra $30 to $60, I forget what it is, you can upgrade to the business edition where you get additional features that you'll unlock. All right, so this is going to be the template that I, that I started with. And then from this template right here, this is what I ended up creating right here. If I scroll to the top, um, these stars, I just threw random stars in here all right and then some Girl Scout emblems and then if we did if we look at this font right here here's one of them um, and then when I when I went to the next font I just changed it up to something different I added another Girl Scout face in here and then if we look at this right here if I this whole thing is grouped if I come up here to object ungroup now you're gonna see that they're all individual letters Right, so when I want something to stand out, I'll do something like this right here. I'll use the same font across the board. Basically what I do is I'll just hit the A over here and I'll put a C. Then I'll come over here and then I'll hit an O. And then I'll just control copy, control paste it since we have two of them. And then I will do another one. I'll do a K, an I, an E. And an S. So I'll just do something like that. And then as you can see, um, all these letters that we have right here are all just the outline. And that's basically because this is red. So this is the fill and this is the outline. So 
what I like to do is, so say for the C, I'll come in here and I'll change it to a red. Put an O, I did it purple. And then another O, I did it orange. And so on and so on. So let's just fill these in real quick with the different colors. Just to give it a different look, you know what I mean? And then if you want to do some capitalized, like I did the C and the K capital, and maybe the S. Maybe I did the S too, I don't remember. Um, just change it up, make it unique, make it yours. And then something like that. And then I'll highlight all of these right here because it has that red outline. Um, what I don't want to do is because what I'm going to have is the red is going to be what's going to be cut. So if you look at this, this card in the background, this card right here, everything that is red is going to be cut, all right? So if we look right here, I'm sorry, if we look right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here and I'm going to select this and I'm going to put, pick this, I call it chicken wire, so I'm going to click that and now you can see that there's nothing around it. And then when it comes to resizing them, just do what you want. Like the C, I just canted it like that or changed it up. Did something different. You can overlap them. Um, you guys, if you've done this before, you know um, whatever whatever you put down first Whatever you put down second is going to overlap that. Whatever you put down third is going to overlap that. The K will overlap that. The I, and so on and so on. Because what it does is, what it does is, whatever order you put them in is the order that they're going to they're going to sit like in layers. But if you want to change it, I basically all you got to do is hit it, right click it, and then send to back or send to front. So like now you can see it's behind the O, but if I want to bring it to the front, um, just hit bring to front, now you see it's sitting on top of everything. All right, so that's one way to do it, and as you can see, they were all separated, just like these right here. All right, so then to group them all, what I do is I come here and I click each one, hold down shift, click each one. While I'm holding down shift, what it's doing is it's selecting all those, and then you can either come up here and select group, or you can just hit control G. So now we see Instead of having individual boxes, we have full boxes, right? So, um, what I did was I created one of these one of these cards right here, and then I just got this, Control C, Control V, and then lined it up over here. Then, as we move down, same thing with this right here, the name. Um, like I said, this these cards are fully the, all these cards you can edit them. So if you want to change the number, you can change the number. You can add your email. All right, so when we got down here to these cookies down here, this isn't a template. Um, I, I created this also. This was a pain in the butt. Um, what I had to do is I had to go online. I had to go to Google and find each individual cookie and look for the best quality picture of the cookie so that I was able to put it on here. Um, when I shrank it down, it would look good. So if I come in here and I click this and I hit object, ungroup, you're going to see that cookie is one thing, that name, uh, new $4, and then this circle is, it's all something um, that I made, you know what I mean? So, same thing with this, you don't want to put any, any outlines around it. Same thing when you do this, you want to make sure that this chicken wire is clicked. And you shouldn't have to worry about it because all you're doing is basically, wherever you keep your files, you're just going to drag them in there. And then once you drag them in here, they're probably going to be really big like this. All you're going to have to do is just come in here and then resize them uh, to whatever size you want. All right? I made them to where um, the $6 cookies were on top and then the $4 cookies were on the bottom. So this one wasn't this one wasn't too hard right here. It's basically what you want to put on there, you know what I mean? Um, if you want to put a border on there, you could do that too. So if we look at these right here, um, I went ahead and I put a border on each one of these. So if we look at these little Girl Scout heads, these are all individual heads. But let me show you how I did that. So here's the Girl Scout head right here. Here's the card layout. All right, so here's the template that we're going to use for the business cards. What I didn't show you is how I set up this page with the registration marks on here. So I'm going to show you that here in a second while we do this blank page right here since this doesn't have nothing on it. All right, so these cards right here, they're all individual. Um, I created this template myself. Um, what I did, simple, something easy you could do yourself. 
Google the dimensions of a, of a business card. That's all I did. And then I came over here and I clicked this rectangle tool. And as I click and I start to drag, what it's going to do is it's going to start measuring it out. So all you, I don't remember the size, but all you have to do is once you start dragging, what it's going to do is it's going to tell you how big it is. So say um, this was a two, two inch by three inch card, just say. So we want to go two, three inches down, two inches over. So as you can see, as I start dragging this across, it's going to tell me the exact size. So we can stop at or around two, two inches wide. So 1.995 is close enough. And then we're at 3.5, 3 three and a half. So then we just bring it in till we get close enough to three inches. Close enough right there. We're just estimating this. And then if you have to change it up, if you didn't do it right and you can't get out of this and you're freaking out, just come up here, click this arrow and then delete everything else that you just did. All right, so once you got this arrow clicked, you can come in here and manually uh, change it if you want to. Or you can go right here to the width, type two, the height, type three, simple. Um, say that was the size of our card, and that's what we're going to work with, right? And then say, um, you could do this right here. You could do Control V. What it's going to do is it's going to copy paste it, right? Or the cool thing with the Cameo, you can come here, click it, go to Object, Replicate, and then we're going to replicate it to the right, and it puts it right there to the right next to it, right? Um, and then what I did was I just separated them a little bit. And then same thing with this one, Object, Replicate, to the right okay so let's get these three out of the way to grab this and I'm gonna move it over just so that you can see what I'm doing right now that I got all three of them highlighted I can come back up here replicate replicate below and it puts it right there so now you have your perfect template off of just making one card it's pretty easy um, people charge you three four dollars to do this all right, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this. All right, so we're going to come back over here to this one that we're at, right? Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, we're going to come up here. We're going to set up this page. Um, if any of you are new to this and you're wondering how I got this to eight and a half inches, I'm going to show you. So we're going to come here to page setup. Um, if you come right here to cutting mat, you can set this up to whatever you want. Um, being that I'm cutting, that I was cutting the eight and a half by 11, uh, cardstock, I just changed it to 8 and a half, 11. You don't have to, I just did it myself. So you can leave it at this right here, and it's actually going to show um, what you're doing whenever you put, whenever you change your media size. So you could, you could leave it like this at 12 by 12 if you want to. It doesn't matter. It's not going to keep cutting all the way across. So what I did with my media size is I went ahead and I changed it to letter 8 and a half by 11 inches, and then it just whites out or gray, grays out what can't be done. So if you come back up here and you hit auto 12 by 12, you see it's going to make the whole thing big. And the reason I like to change it to the 8.5 by 11 is so that I know my boundaries. So by changing this, if I leave it like this before I change it, if I leave it like this, um, you basically have to come in here and count what you're going to be doing. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but it's all, it's all up to you what you want to do. Um, if I leave it 12 by 12 and I come right here and you hit this registration mark, you're going to see that they're off. Go ahead, hit on, and if you look, you can see how far the registration marks are put out here. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to shut this off, we're going to come back to page setup, we're going to change our media size to what we're using, and we're going to go with the 8.5 by 11, and you can see that it trims it down or it, it blocks off anything over 8.5, anything longer than 12, uh, 11 inches, right? So now whenever we come up here to our registration marks and then we turn them on, we're set here, right? You could change these. You can make this smaller if you want to. Um, I know like people that want to print an eight and a half by 11 page and then they want to do the, the print cut method whenever they're trying to do a t-shirt design. Uh, you're not going to get the full um, eight and a half by 11 because of the way the registration marks are set up unless you could change something that I don't know uh, let's see advanced um, all this is basically turned up all the way so even if we move these all the way out 
it's not gonna work um, unless you come up here and you leave it at the 12 by 12 nope it's gonna change it so I mean, if you guys know something that I don't hey fill me in leave some comments down below right um, all right so here we are with our registration marks come back up here we're here I come back up here to advanced settings and if you want to change it you want to bring it in you want to bring it out whatever you feel like you want to do uh, change it if you can so here's what I was saying if I try to bring these together and move it up here I can't fit a whole nother card underneath so if I click this one and then I do this object replicate below you're gonna see that it's sticking off the page by about an inch maybe an inch and a half a little over an inch so it's not going to fit even if I move this all the way even if I move this image all the way to the top it's not going to fit I could I could make these cards smaller they don't really have to be this big but um, that's that's just the way I did it so I'm gonna, all right so if we look over here to these thank you cards that I made here is one of them right here uh, we can get rid of this now here's the one that I made right here like I was telling you guys these are all individual and here's how I did this came here got this control copy right bring it over here control V then I'm gonna zoom in right we're gonna zoom in we're gonna make this thing really small about as small as we can get it all right, so we're gonna put it we're just gonna say I don't remember the exact size but we'll go with that right then we're gonna hit object replicate below right now we got two of them same thing object replicate below just keep doing that until you get um, till you do one whole side and that's what I did so let me show you we're just gonna zoom through this real quick Or you could do control down arrow. I didn't even know that. So we're good there. We're going to need just two this time. Control down arrow. Cool. All right. So now we have this whole side right here, right? We have this. We're going to control G. We just grouped it together. So now this is one whole piece, right? And we are going to right. We're going to click it. Not right click it. We're just going to click it. Object. Replicate. Right. Okay, now we got two of them. Hardest thing is always making the first card. Once you make the first card, easy. We're going to come back here. We're going to ungroup this now. The whole thing is ungrouped. Now we're going to click it, control, arrow. So now I just found out an easier way. When I did it the first time, I did the object, click, object, click. So now I know you can control, arrow that stuff. I didn't know that at first. So now what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to space these out a little bit. So we'll come there, we'll come there. Just to give this some uniformity, I guess. All right, so now that we got that, we're going to come here. We're going to group all of this, right? Control G. All right, now that's now that's grouped. And what we're going to come over here now, we got that selected. We're going to hit Control and Down Arrow. Simple, right? We're going to bring it down here to the bottom now that we got our border made right so now that I got all of this grouped together now all I gotta do is control C then control V and now we have our basic template for this whole thing right same thing bring it across all right so here we are right here we're not gonna do too many of these I don't want to take too much time but here we are right here this is where we're at and then um, that was made just by using this face right here um, just make sure whenever you do this that you don't put a, a fill on it. If you put a fill on it, it's going to look like that. So make sure you don't have a fill on it. All right, so now that we got all three of these done right here, I'm just going to come back over here. I did the same thing with this font. Something simple. Just went in there with some cursive letters. We'll copy this, and then we'll just drop it in here. So we're just going to do one of these right here. Put it how you want. Whatever font you want to use, the size you want to do, whatever you want to do. So... Um, then I went in here, same thing with these, with this right here, changed it up, put cookie time, the troop number, Madison's name, call 867-5309. If you want your cookies, hit that number up, 
5309. Um, and then with this email right here, you could change this email fully editable, whatever you want to put. And then on the bottom, we put thank you for your cookie order and supporting your local Girl Scout troops. If you need any more cookies, feel free to contact us with the information that's on here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this whole thing. And then I'm going to control C, come back up here to right here, control V. And then the whole thing is here. We're just going to drop it in here. I don't want to take you guys through the whole process of how I made each and every one of these things. Because whenever you do it, it's totally up to you on how you want to make your template. Once you make your template, you all you got to do is, now all I got to do is come in here, highlight all this. Control C, Control V, right? Then we just grab it, drop it into place. And then the last thing that we did is, was copy and paste, right? So being that it already knows what is copied, you should be able to come in here, hit Control V, and it should pop up again. And you just drag it right to where you want it. All right, so now that we've got all of this done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to send. We're gonna hit send. And then what we're going to see is a whole bunch of red and what it wants to cut, right? So what we want to do is we want to come up here to line. I'm going to come up here to line, and we are going to see the colors that it's going to cut, all right? So if we look here, it's telling us everything in red is going to get cut right here, and everything in black is going to get cut, all right? So what we don't want to do is we don't want to cut the black. If we look at this black, if we zoom in, None of this stuff is welded together, so it would cut in between. But we're not trying to cut all these letters out. We want to print these letters. We don't want to cut them. We want it to look like this card right here. So there's two ways to do this. Um, you could, if we zoom out, you can always, whenever you're creating your design, we'll come back over here to design. We're going to come to design, and we are going to select this, and then we're going to come here and hit this chicken wire and then basically what that does if you look at these letters you're gonna see the black outline around it let me zoom in a little bit more if we see this it has a black outline around it that's what it was trying to cut so if we look over here now I took the black outline out of all of these letters over here all right so these letters over here do not have it so let's go ahead come back to send and see what we get uh, if we leave it here on on simple it's going to cut everything. The no cut, there it is right there, no cut right there. And then as you can see right here, this is what it's going to cut, all right? All right, so here, here's where it's at. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back up to line, and I'm going to show you another way to do this, all right? So that was one way to, to take out these black lines is whenever you're creating your design is to just go ahead and take the outline out and use the chicken wire, right? So now if we look here, all right, so now if we look here, Remember I was talking about the chicken wire. Here's the chicken wire. It doesn't have a check mark in it. The black, everything that is black has a check mark, so it wants to cut it. So if we come right here to cut, you're going to see there's other options underneath it, but nothing under there says print, right? All you have to do is come over here where this check mark is at and click it. Once you click it, now you've done taking off that cut. It's going to print it and it will not cut within. All it's going to cut now is this red image right here. Um, here's the chicken wire. As you know, a lot of this image has chicken wire. So if I came in here and I clicked this chicken wire, watch this. So now you're gonna see. Now you're gonna see everything inside of this image that would be cut. Um, if I hit this black again, you're gonna see. Basically, we would end up with nothing, because everything on this card would be cut. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off this black one. We're gonna turn off this chicken wire, and we now end up with this card right here all right so now we're going to look at our other one same thing here we don't have to worry about nothing here we just want to look make sure nothing out of the ordinary we're good that's all good all right nothing is on there we're going to come here we're going to turn this off so we don't want anything to be cut on this one because whenever we cut this, remember what I was telling you, this is going to be the back of this card right here. So we don't need anything cut from this card. So 
that's it for those two and then we're gonna do one of these door hangers right here here's our door hanger same thing we come up here to send we're gonna look at it uh, if I turn if I turn this red on right here watch what happens you see these stars light up we don't want the stars lit up we don't want any of this stuff lit up none of these black things we don't want none of them All right so let's go ahead and we're gonna go to the printer I have it in the other room so we're gonna go over there we're gonna set this up to where I can show you guys when this stuff comes out and then we'll set up the cameo and we'll cut it so let's go ahead and cut out to that alright so here we are we're using the Epson 4750 I'm still recording the screen I just want to show you what we're gonna be doing so this like I said the Epson 4750 this one's pretty cool because it connects wirelessly you could connect it to your phone I got it connected to my computer so if we look at the screen right here all we're gonna do is we're not gonna hit send we're not gonna come down here because as you can see it says trying to reconnect and all it's doing is looking for the cameo we're connected to the printer right now so we're gonna come up here we're gonna come to this little send to printer icon we're gonna click it and then just find the printer that you're connected to here's my 4750 network we're gonna hit print let it do its thing it's loading it we're gonna print this one first and then we're gonna go back and we will print the cards afterwards All right, so here it comes. Prints pretty fast. All right, so here's the first one right here. Here's the first one. And as you can see, you don't see any of the red lines. Um, with the red lines, it already knows where it's going to cut. So there's one of them. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the, the cards. Alright, so here's the next one. This one did print with the red lines because I changed these to red. So there's this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it back in here. And we are going to print the other side of the card. Facing up. And then we'll hit, then we'll hit print again. So here's the other side right here. Here's one side and here's the other side. All right, so here's the image that we're going to be cutting. We're going to go ahead and we're going to load it in here. All right, so now that it's it's in there, we see that this thing is ready to go. So now we're going to hit send and let it do its thing. It's going to read the registration marks. Once it reads the registration marks, it's going to start cutting. Alright, once it's complete, you're just going to wait till it tells you to unload it we're going to hit unload and then if we look at this there's that and then we can simply punch that out and punch that out and here is our two door hangers There's one, and there is the other. Remember, if you need some cookies, call that number right there. 
They'll hook you up. All right, so here's the next one right here. I'm gonna show you guys how these lined up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you with this light up here. All right, so hopefully this ain't blinding you. Hopefully you can see this. So basically what you wanna do is just put it up to a light so you can make sure that with this red line that both of these images are falling inside those red lines. So that's, as we can see, both of them are falling into the red lines. So this is gonna actually look pretty good. Let's go ahead and put it on this new one. We'll see how it looks. We're gonna come back to our thank you cards. Here it is right here. And then we're gonna load this in here. Um, remember, I'm gonna show you something. If you move one of these things right here, because as you know, you can unlock these. So if you unlock it, you can move it where you want to. But make sure if you look right here, and right here, and right here on yours, there's some grooves in there. Um, whenever you put this, you can't just put it in any random place and lock it, because what it's not is what it's not going to do is it's not going to lock. You actually have to put in one of these grooves right here and make sure you lock it in. So we're going to go ahead and put it there and we're going to lock it in. Once you got it locked in, it should not move. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep your mat from rotating. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to put this back in here. We're going to load this next image. And we are going to hit send. It's already connected and then we're going to send it. Load it. Here we go again. I'm just gonna grab it, pull it off. And as I, if you look, when I bend these, you're gonna see all the cards are individual. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So here's the cards. Again, here's the front of the card. And then if I flip it around, you're going to see it's pretty much lined up the back of the card. All printed on one piece of cardstock. Each and every one. Wrong one. So there's that one. Front of that one. Back of that one. Front of that one. Back of that one. So, Alright, so that's it. That brings us to the end of this. I just wanted to show you guys a way you guys could print and cut. And as we can see, these came out really good. Um, that Epson 4750, the print on this right here is really good. The inks that's inside of that machine right there are really good also. Um, they do not waste really fast. So I've been using, I did a lot of prints for some people for these cards and some door hangers. And then the ones that we did for my daughter also. And then it also came with a one year refill whenever I bought it. So. I'll put the link down in the description for that printer if you guys are interested in it. And then here again is the front of the card. And then whenever we were able to do it, we able to line up the back of the card. Remember, all you have to do is just center both images so that they will both be the same. And then whenever you print it, take the cardstock out or the paper that you're using, put it back in and just put it upside down so that it prints on the opposite side. All right, so that's it. I'm pretty sure with the Cameo 4, it's the same layout as the Cameo 3. Um, I haven't seen from what people are doing online, it's not too much of a big difference. Um, supposedly, it's just faster or whatever. Um, as you guys know, the Cameo 4 Pro is coming out, the 15-inch. Um, so be looking out for that one. Uh, but for now, we're using the Cameo 3. It's still working. No need to replace it right now. So um, I hope I was able to help you guys out with this print and cut method. All right, so that's it. I'm not going to go no farther than that. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. We're almost at 12,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. All the new subscribers, everybody that's new to my channel, welcome to Heart & Hustle. Our family, our community of printers, um, even though you're just starting off, welcome. 
Uh, we will eventually start going live again, and when we do, hopefully I get to meet you guys and get to talk to you guys if you guys have any questions on what I have or what I use, all right? So thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Thank you for all the support, and until next time, keep pressing.